Wanna high five a sea creature? Well, put your flipper, I mean hand up, for the Tasmanian red handfish. This fish doesn't swim like a fish, it walks. It uses its flipper like hands to stroll around on the ocean floor. These bottom walkers are disturbed by swimmers and boats a lot. Some people even want to take them home as pets. I think it's better to just give them a wave and swim on by. The Vampire Squid Its species name is Vampirotuthis infernalis, which translates to Vampire Squid from Hell. Oh yes, this vampire squid means to terrify everyone with its name. Its dark red color, its spikes at the bottom, and the scary fact that it can basically turn itself inside out. The vampire squid loves putting on a good show, but it's as harmless as a kitten is to humans. It's as if Dracula scared the pants off you, but he didn't have blood-sucking fangs. The vampire squid feeds on food particles from plants and animal matter floating near the ocean's surface. Since they're not predators, they need good defensive strategies, and their vampiric look is designed to ward off large creatures who want to eat them. Turning themselves inside out is a defensive mechanism since the spiky areas in the inner skin are more intimidating. They also shoot out a substance that does not have color, but is packed with bioluminescent particles to distract predators. The Vaquita Going out on a boat off the coast of Mexico sounds like the perfect vacation. The sun, the blue water, the most endangered sea creature. Wait, what? The vaquita isn't dangerous, but don't expect it to stick around to say hello or sign any autographs. It's incredibly shy. This little cow, that's what it means in Spanish, is one tiny sea mammal. With those black markings around its eyes, it looks more like a sea panda to me. Seeing one should make you feel very special. They're on the brink of extinction, mostly because they get caught by accident in fishing nets. It's estimated that there's only 10 left in the wild. The Blue Dragon This little creature looks like something out of a kid's fantasy movie. It's called the Blue Glaucus, casually referred to as the Blue Dragon or Blue Angel. It can be found in many places, the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans. It's kind of a mollusk and it only grows to be about an inch long. What you think is the back is actually the mollusk's bright underbelly. It regularly floats on its back so that its blue colors help it camouflage with the water's waves. The blue dragon isn't just pretty, it's also smart. It usually feasts on Portuguese man o wars, also known as Fisalia fisalis. The blue dragon stores their stinging cells for later use, in essence, stealing their defensive mechanisms. When the blue dragon is threatened, it releases those stinging cells it's stored, directing them at an enemy to sting them with more power than the Portuguese man o' war would have been capable of. As they can store a huge amount of stinging cells, they can be a threat to humans. So, if you find one, don't pick it up. It's best to admire it from a distance. The Barrel Eye Fish If you ever wanted to have Superman's X-ray vision, Looking at the barrel eye fish will make you feel like you gained that superpower at some point in your life without even realizing it. The barrel eye has a transparent head, so you can see how their eyes and brain look inside. This magnificent creature lives in the deep sea. This is the lowest level of the ocean, where strange creatures roam in near freezing temperatures and constant darkness. They're exposed to water's pressure that's almost 1,000 times that of the surface. If the idea of the deep sea sends a shiver down your spine, stay tuned to learn about another of its creatures later on. The barrel eye fish can be found in the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans. You might be wondering, why oh why would a fish have a see-through head? And that would be a fair question. Since the species was discovered in 1939, it was believed that the fish's eyes were set to see straight ahead and couldn't move. So it was assumed that they had tunnel vision. Scientists Bruce Robinson and Kim Reisenbickler from the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute recently discovered that the fish can move its eyes vertically to see through the top of its translucent head, thus noticing if there are predators or prey nearby. The transparent head also allows more light to enter so they can detect prey better. It's believed that the barrel eye fish eats jellyfish and small fish species. If you dive in the ocean at night, you might be lucky enough to see how orange ball coralomorph blooms in the dark. But make sure to be quick because as soon as you turn on your flashlight to take a good look, it will retract its tubes back into itself. The Megalodon 
the whale shark isn't the biggest shark known to humans. If the entire shark species were a kingdom, the prehistoric megalodon would be the ruler of the sea. Megalodon roamed the ocean a long time ago. Oh, about 15.9 to 2.6 million years back between the early Miocene and late Pliocene eras. While they've long been extinct, people are still amazed to learn about these gigantic sea beasts. Megalodon could reach anywhere between 45 feet to 60 feet in length with jaws more than 6 feet wide. A fossil of a tooth that once belonged to a megalodon measured at 7 inches. Needless to say, I'm pretty stoked that these guys have long been extinct. But there's still some adventurers out there hoping to meet this monster one day. The Dumbo Octopus This adorable creature, or creepy creature, or however you want to see it, is officially called Grimpoteuthis. More casually, it's referred to as the Dumbo Octopus, named after the Disney character. Though Dumbo, the elephant, not the octopus, was teased for his big ears, it's highly unlikely that this adorable octopus gets teased by its water neighbors. They are the deepest living octopuses living in the deep sea, and you know how scary that place is. They're only about 8 inches tall and spend their days hovering just above the seafloor eating snails, worms, and other food they find in the current or near ocean vents. There are nearly 17 species of Dumbo octopus, and they all have differences in height, color, and body parts. If you can't get enough strange animals, you'll be glad to learn that the deep sea has barely been explored by humans. So, keep an eye out, there are bound to be more fascinating animals discovered in the deep in the future. The Sea Angel These creatures might look and sound pretty cute, but their diet is far from sunshine and lollipops. Their favorite food are sea butterflies. They lay mucus traps for them and wait in ambush. The Squat Anemone Shrimp This shrimp is tiny, only 0.5 inches. It's also known as a dancer shrimp because of its peculiar behavior. When agitated, it raises its bottom above its head and does a little dance. Divers also say it readily jumps on their hands and cleans them. The Coconut Crab This guy may look pretty creepy, especially when the sun goes down. Mature coconut crabs are around 3 feet in length. Their preferred foods are coconuts, but they can also hunt down lizards and even large birds. The Slender Snipe Eel Slender Snipe Eel is a slim and long creature that's still a mystery for marine scientists. It's 4 feet long and it has at least 750 bones in its spine, which is much more than any other animal in the world. The Sea Pen Sea Pen is 7 feet long and it has a lot of varieties, but most of them look indeed like a pen or a quill. The similarity is even more striking when the animal has a water-filled bulb that anchors it to the floor. The Persian Carpet Flatworm This creature looks indeed like a carpet, despite being very small by comparison. It's only 4 inches long, able to become both male and female. It doesn't really mate with other flatworms. Rather, it fights them for the right to bear posterity. The Flamingo Tongue Sea Snails Tourists love these extraordinary snails for their pretty colors thinking it's a shell, but in fact, the shell is quite dull and hidden underneath colorful soft tissues. They eat softer, toxic parts of corals and store their toxins to protect themselves. <laughs>